What is going on guys? This is Distinguished Fox here and welcome back to my channel. Re greatly appreciated. But anyways, today I'm going to be talking about some Mass Effect 1 on the Legendary Edition of the Mass Effect Trilogy. Yes, here we go. Uh, so, this, this is something I've been really wanting to do. Uh, hopefully we can be able to fit everything all in this one video and hopefully this will be coming out perfectly. So here we go. Um, so... Mass Effect was definitely one of the fewest games that I've ever played back in the PlayStation 3 era. And what I really enjoyed about this game, personally, on a very deep level, is that Mass Effect 1 was, my very, was the very first game I have ever played in the trilogy. And I think it was one of those things to where it felt that it was totally unique, it felt different from any other RPGs that I have played. Now, granted, you know, um, I made a video on that, so I don't really want to talk about that, but it, it was the same thing as, like, what Skyrim did for me. You know, Skyrim was my first Elder Scrolls experience as well. So, now going back to Mass Effect. Now, what I truly have thought about Mass Effect, I think it was something that I really never thought was possible. I didn't think I was going to like this game at all. Seriously. It, it Very serious about this. Is because, you know... I think it had to do with maybe of the RPG mechanics that the game Im implements, but it was more so on the lines of the companion system. And as I previously mentioned in my live stream that I made just the other day, you know, talking about the companion system a little bit, not to deep delve into it too much, is that it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be when I first played the game. You know, they don't really, they don't get in your way, which is nice. And because you could be able to implement the the way how you can position your your uh, companions, whether if you play as a soldier, you know, or it doesn't matter what kind of character build class that you do, uh, whoever you have your companions for, you can put them into place and put them you know behind cover so that way they can be able to not withstand so much firepower. So uh, when I first played this game back on the PlayStation Three, what I really enjoyed about this game, not just what I previously mentioned overall. It was the fact that I really love the gunplay in this game. The gunplay is one of the main factors of the game itself. Not just that of the story or the character progression, but it was the gunplay. I love the gunplay. And if I remember correctly, I, I think I uh, played as the soldier. Yeah, no, that's about right. I played as the soldier. And I really enjoyed it. And I used Ernot Rex and I used Garrus, which was a pretty good... Um, was, was, which was really good, though. I mean, I was able to get through the game pretty quickly, but if I remember correctly, I was able to put in over 24 hours of gameplay with Mass Effect, and I think that was even more awesome is because I was thoroughly taking my time. Now, I think another thing what I really enjoyed about Mass Effect in particular, other than the particulars I recently mentioned about the game itself, it was... The story is magnanimous. It's one of the best story-driven games to my own experience and to my own type of liking. Yes, I do need to go through Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3 eventually. But I decided recently to go back into Mass Effect 1 again. And um, I, I tried the Infiltrator. I tried a little bit of the Vanguard. And of course, I tried as the Soldier before in the, in the past few years on the PS3 era. So... I'm still conflicted on which build I still want to do in this game, but I think what I'm going to do is just go with the Pure Soldier, and then I'm going to go with uh, Liara to Sony and uh, Tali as my companions, because you want to at least have tech and buy out a companion with you. And it has to do with what kind of a build that you're going to be doing within the game itself, though, too. So I think that's another thing that's really put into certain type of... Uh, consideration sorry about that pause there so but overall you know this game was just absolutely amazing i couldn't believe how awesome this game was and it, it's not it's not just about the game gunplay or the gameplay in general itself of the game it's the fact that it's just a sprawling interconnected game to where it connects to Mass Effect 2 and the Mass Effect 3, like I previously mentioned. You know, I never played those yet, and I will eventually get into those. But I heard that Mass Effect 2 is really good, and as far as I'm concerned, I think Mass Effect 3 was something from that a little bit of a controversial type of thing in terms of the ending. 
or I think uh, I think it had to do about the choice for the ending of Mass Effect Three. I don't know, but either or, I can't wait to get in the, into Mass Effect Three. Eventually, once I get into Mass Effect Two and finish that story as well, so hopefully that'll come soon here though too. And so now what I'm going to be doing, once I get through my first entire playthrough of Mass Effect 1, and once I get into Mass Effect 2, I will be making a video on Mass Effect 2 as well. And then once I get through that, I'm going to be making a video on Mass Effect 3 as well. And these are going to be completely separate videos. Uh, they're not going to be, uh, they're not, uh, not all three videos of the Mass Effect series are not going to be interconnected with one video because I feel like that, it's not necessary. I feel like having single videos about each game of the Mass Effect universe of each game themselves. To me, I feel like that's just going to make much more sense because so that way I can be able to have, you know, better. I'm not trying to make full length videos within like a 30 minute or 60 minute or maybe an hour. I'm not trying to do that. I at least would like to make videos to where they, they are going to maybe around a 12 minute or 15 minute mark or maybe 20 minutes if that it depends on how much i really want to talk about the game itself in general so so i thought i'd get that out of the way now going back to mass effect you know another thing i really liked uh, there's a lot of things i really loved about the first one specifically you know not just of what i recently mentioned or what i was talking about it has to do with of how m i understand now I understand why this series it, this series is so well beloved and highly critically acclaimed from fans from that of Bioware specifically is because it's the character progression it's the story it's it's the structure of the whole entire series itself and like I said I under, I completely understand why now I totally get it and, you know, it's the same thing for me. I really wish I could make video on that series as well, which is the Legacy of Kane series. I feel like that if they were to do, like, a remastered HD collection for that series, I would full-on go bore on making videos on that series because I have so much I want to talk about that series in general as well. But I'm, I have hopes. I have high hopes for that. But now getting, now getting back into the topic at hand... Um, what I what I really like about the Mass Effect the game, Mass Effect One in general as well, is the fact that uh, you know I like the way how you can implement do certain types of implement of gameplay structure in terms of what build that you're doing. You know I really like that. I played as the Infiltrator. It's pretty busted if you know what you're doing. It has to do with skills. It's the same thing as with the Soldier or with the Adept or the Engineer or any other class character build that you will be doing and um i've been watching a lot of videos on those and i can understand why those builds are so popular now i understand for one thing is that the vanguard for mass effect one even into mass effect two and van and mass effect three it's very it's a really nice it's a pretty durable build i've watched gameplay on it and i really like the way how it looks and so i think what i might actually do instead of like going pure soldier which is which would be kind of nice to do but i overall i have played as a soldier before i have played as an infiltrator before while i do enjoy playing those builds i i do want to get into the vanguard because i understand that the vanguard is very highly popular and it's a build to where it's very the implementation within the vanguard build is very it can be a little complicated at first but once you delve more into the skills and what you're going to be using and what you're going to be doing it or for like i said the gameplay on it oh my god i just couldn't believe how amazing that build look, really looks it looks absolutely amazing so but overall i think mass effect one just it really it has a really it it did a really good job in all fronts of what i expected it to be it was a very first it was a really good first introduction for me to play as a gamer as i am because like i said i never really thought i would play this game series before and so or, or in 
overall in general and i think that's a good thing because it, i'm really glad i finally got myself introduced in the series and i actually have to thank my brother for that though too a little bit but i have talking to co-workers and our gamers just such as like myself and so i'm like yeah you know what why not i'll get myself into it and lo and behold i finally i played the game mass effect one for the very first time on my playstation 3 and now since they came out with a legendary edition i believe it was back in 2021 or 20 or 2020 may 14th uh, the legendary edition came out and so i'm like yeah i'm gonna get this game because i want to go through the entire tr series and see where it can go from there and so so like i said you know i am planning on i think i will i think i will go with a vanguard build because you know it it's just it's a it looks amazing like i said in previous videos i've watched on it and so i'm hoping that will go pretty well we'll see how that goes so but uh overall i won't say this is a review this is more like of an impressions type of thing uh you know it's a commentary piece basically on a game or game series for that matter because like i said i will be making other videos on mass effect 2 and mass effect 3 and eventually everything will come forth of what my total experience is and once I get my total experience on the whole entire Mass Effect trilogy of games as they are, um, I will make a full-length video for knows how long that will be. I don't know. But stay tuned to more future videos here at Distinguished Fox on YouTube. I really greatly appreciate it. But if you have any kind of comments or questions you might have, please them leave them down in the comment section below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can if any, if any deems necessary. Guys, have a great day, have a good evening, and peace.